Everyone meet the adorable old man named Hank. He is a 12-year-old rescued German Shepherd, and I see him on a three-month schedule. Today, I am bathing him in our undercoat control shampoo because he is losing a ton of coat. Hank's fur is the most dense of any shepherd I've ever worked on. He lives on a large property and has the luxury of roaming the yard, which makes him very dirty. Today, I am giving him three shampoos because I'm having a hard time getting the soap down to his skin. On the third shampoo, I actually took the soap directly from the bottle to scrub it in which is not something that I do for most dogs. But remember guys, a dirty dog is a happy dog. And now it's time to wash his face, which is his least favorite part. I try to do this as quickly as possible so that he is not uncomfortable for too long. And rinsing that dense coat of his is a workout in itself. And after his bath, I attempt to towel dry this hairy beast and then I spray him down in a deep conditioning treatment and I brush that through his coat. And now we get to the most satisfying part of grooming Hank, and that is blowing out his undercoat with the high velocity dryer. Hank does not wear ear protection because he suffers from chronic ear infections and it would be very uncomfortable for him. German shedders are prone to ear infections and it is oftentimes related to an allergy in their diet. In Hank's case, he has received ongoing medical treatment his entire life, but unfortunately the infections persist. And now, I will leave you to enjoy his blowout. After he is dry, I brush him starting with my coral brush. This will help to loosen up his coat and make it easier when I de-shed him. Then I switch over to the Equi Groomer. And if you can believe it, Hank is still losing so much hair. Unlike many other breeds of dogs that shed only a few times a year, German Shepherds shed all year round. And as an owner of a German Shepherd, my house would agree. After I finished off with this brush, I move over to the undercoat rake, because lo and behold, he is still shedding. Once I have finally completed brushing, I move on to clipping his nails. Hank cannot stand on three legs, so lifting up his paws to clip them is not an option. This means today I will not be shaving out his paw pads. It would be ideal if I could lay Hank down to clip his nails and trim his paws, but he is a stubborn old man, so he will not allow me to do that. And after he is finished, I spray this handsome guy down in our Blueberry Pie Pet Cologne by Bark to Basics. Keep watching to see him strut in my yard. If you'd like to help more rescue dogs like Hank, please click the link that's in my description. Thanks for watching!